just because it's it's going to make money doesn't is that's not enough reason to pick that investment. You've got a million different things. It's like picking a it's like picking a spouse. You know, you you know, when I was picking my wife, I met a lot of great women that could have been my wife who would have done a great job. And if somebody was to say, well, what's wrong with her? Why wouldn't you make her your wife? Well, it'd be because I because I can't marry more than one person. I'm not going to marry more than one person. So you're qualified for the job, but you may not be the best fit for this particular job because being being the wife of Boyce Watkins is hard work. So so that's the same way I think with your investing. There's go, you're going to run into thousands of projects and ideas that are going to be great and extraordinary. Pick the one that works for you, but then, but not similar to a marriage. You don't. You're not supposed to be monogamous. You're supposed to diversify, spread out, and uh, that way, if one investment doesn't go well, you're still going to be okay. All right. So let's see. I was told it's time to buy crypto, Casper coin that will triple your money in 90 days. Don't do it, Antonio. I don't lose your money. Not investing advice, but I, I wouldn't touch that with a 10 foot pole. Anybody who promises that they're going to triple your money in a short period of time or double it and all this other nonsense. That's just remember a simple rule of investing. If it seems too good to be true, it probably is. So um, don't ever get caught up in the get rich quick schemes. That's how people get your money. Scamming is growing, uh, because especially with AI. Scamming is higher than it's ever been. Uh, they're going to hit you with scams that you would not believe. I, I, I literally, and I hate this, but there have been people that follow me who have lost over, they have lost over a million dollars combined i the one lady lost a quarter million dollars because there was a guy who said his name was boyce Watkins who was messaging her back and forth and told her to invest her money in a crypto platform that looked legitimate and told her that her money was going to triple or double in a few weeks and i felt so bad when she told me that and uh and i can just tell you right now i do not i, I do not crawl in anybody's dms so please do not ever think that that's me that's not me up in your dm the only dm i crawl into is my wife's all right, so let's see. Wylon Gidry says, can you use uh, long 2026 calls on SQQQ as a form of portfolio insurance? Um, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't see why not. Um, it's kind of insurance, right? It, it, you're you're kind of locking in your long-term, uh, your long-term gains and stuff like that. But at the same time, you're kind of putting a limit on your gains as well. So never forget, when you sell a call option, it's a very conservative strategy. You are gathering... Um, money and it could be a form of portfolio insurance. Um, but at the same time, you know, it, it's also something that uh, is going, you know, if, if there is a decay in the value of SQQQ, SQQQ over time, uh, that could be a problem uh, in terms of your, your losses outweighing your gains. So remember that when you are selling an option on something, you are also sort of required to own that asset. You have to hold the hot potato the entire time. And if the, the potato gets too hot, then that could really burn you, burn your skin. All right. So, um, so in, in other words, asset prices can go down. So if I sell a call saying, okay, I want to just go ahead and insure my portfolio by selling this long call, I got to own that stock for the entire life of the call unless I buy the call back. 